for the balance staff when this watch sat on its face. So it was good on its back, but not on its face. Okay, and that's that. So we're going to flip this over. Uh, I'll tighten these guys down, and uh, we'll continue from there. We're going to be reassembling this. Since it is such a finished back, I will be trying to keep all of my finger oils off of this. We're going to start with the powertrain. First thing I want to do, even though I've done it already, is put a little bit of Mobius oil on the back of this. And a little bit of uh, gear train oil. A little bit of oil right there on the mainspring barrel. That gets flipped over and put into position with the bridge on it. Come on now. Come on. Settle down. Settle down, you. Right. Right. Right there. That's it. Next we're going to put in all of the other cocks and their respective gears, making sure that they all line up top and bottom before we screw them down. Here we've got the final cock going in and you can see that the uh, center wheel is going in as well. A little bit of lubrication on that putting the bridge on that. It only goes in one way um, and uh, screwing everything down. This is the Tobias copper face. We've got all the gears in train and tightened down. That's what you're looking for right there is that escapement wheel escaping right there. No chatter in the gear train. Looks good. I'll put in the uh, pallet fork, which will keep any of this from turning until the balance is in. Let me glove up and do that. Well, we've got all the cocks in place, all the bridges in place. We've got the pallet fork in place. And now we need to put the balance on. Sometimes that's the most nerve-wracking because that hairspring, and this one we've replaced on this balance, that hairspring can be really nasty. Now this has either a missing pin or it's variable. Um, that is the uh, cock for the pallet fork and um, it is variable in terms of its positioning. Not sure which. All right, let's flip this over. I've got to stick it under a few. Don't let it fall off the stand. I'm nudging it into place here. I'm not feeling it slide as it should between the new balance jewel that we just replaced and the old ones that we've cleaned. Well, let's see. This is, this is sometimes what happens. You have to go back in or adjust something. You really want to see it just pick up. I haven't really put any winds on this, so it's not as if this has a lot of power under it. Oh, oh. Let's see what happens when we screw in this cock that, oh, this thing wants to run if I don't drop screws into it. Oh, if I don't keep dropping screws into it, I guess is the answer to this one. All right, there we go. Wow, it really does. Wow, this is ticking away. I haven't really even put any winds on this or... Nope. Yeah, it needs to be adjusted. It wouldn't surprise me if that pallet fork needs a little massage, if you will. Well, let's see here. That's, it wants to run. 
Well, there it is, the Tobias. I'm gonna have to fiddle with that pallet fork. Yeah, it looks like it's, uh, this, oh. Oh, see here now, I'm just putting a little bit of more of a wind on it. I'm fully winding that mainspring, and uh, that's, that's all it was. Sometimes you just have to wind it fully. Mm. Let's see if that's, uh, it's, there it is. No, nope. still doesn't want to wind. Still doesn't want to run. Hmm. Well, and there you go. There it is, running like a beauty. A little adjustment on the pallet fork got it going. That's all it took. You see me pulling this back and forth? That's changing the, the center line of that pallet fork. And it's running again. Join us again.